This is Hans Holbein the Younger's portrait of Thomas Cromwell from 1532. This painting's creation was beautifully imagined in the BBC adaptation of Wolf Hall, directed by Peter Kosminski and starring Mark Rylance as Cromwell. But what can this painting tell us about Cromwell, Henry's infamous queen maker and indeed his queen breaker? This portrait was created to celebrate Cromwell's year, 1532. Cromwell had survived the downfall of his master, Cardinal Wolsey, who had failed to deliver an annulment of Henry's marriage to Catherine of Aragon. That heavy responsibility now lay on Cromwell's shoulders. This painting is filled with meaning and sentiment. Cromwell remained loyal to his former master's memory and this allegiance is represented in the painting via this ornate Turkish rug to the left of the painting. These rugs were a favourite of Wolsey. He had overseen their mass importation into England. The table Cromwell is sitting at is covered in green cloth, a nod to the term the board of green cloth applied to those who worked within the royal finances. Remarkably, we can read to whom the letter on Cromwell's desk is addressed. It reads, to our trusty and right well beloved counsellor, Thomas Cromwell, master of our jewel house. So this is a letter from the king. And its placement here is telling us of Cromwell's promotions to a member of his Privy Council and his master of his jewel house. Fascinatingly, the gold ring on Cromwell's finger, set with a turquoise stone, is listed as being on Cromwell's finger when an inventory of his belongings was taken in 1527. The other bejeweled item, the prayer book, is another nod to his promotion mounted in silver gilt and set with garnets in the clasps and on the covers, it is a dazzling focal point of the painting. Wonderfully, Alison Palmer, Kate McCaffrey and I have recently found this very book. It is likely to be one of the few examples of a surviving object that can be seen in a Tudor portrait. You can view this remarkable treasure at Hever Castle until the 10th of November.